What's going on guys? So here I am in front of my S2000 and I'm bringing to you an install video of uh, of a cooling plate that I have for my S2000. Now most S2000s um, already come with uh, I guess you can say like a di diverter that brings more cool air to the intake system but mine as you can see doesn't have it. It would come about right here and it would push air up here into towards the intake system but mine doesn't have that. So because mine doesn't actually have it, I bought it like that um, from you know some guy up in Phoenix uh, area. Um, I'm, I have to kind of improvise and do something about that. So for now, uh, I'm eventually gonna buy that OEM part um, because it's kind of necessary even with this cooling plate that I have on. But um, with this cooling plate, it's kind of a little bit better than nothing seeing as it actually will divert a little bit more. So let's get a little bit of a closer look at it. All right, so here it is. This is in uh, it's uh, made by Auto Technic. It is a cooling plate. Um, as you can see, this is the front of the vehicle on this side, and it will basically through this little channel area would bring air into the intake system of the S2000. Now, um, I'm nervous to see if this is going to actually fit properly. Um, I bought it from Amazon so and it was a pretty good amount of money so I'm hoping that it fits perfect or good enough I should say without any mod modifications to it so with that being said let's get to the install all right so this product doesn't actually come with instructions at least not none that I found uh, with their shipping stuff but it doesn't seem to be a very difficult install um, the way it looks um, it looks like the only thing you'll have to take off is the radiator stays this rubber piece that I already took this one off and that one and then of course the bumper uh, bolts or nuts or whatever, or whatever you want to call them I don't know but and then after that it should just you know theoretically of course just bolt right in so let's go ahead and give it a try All right, so here it is, the finished product. I think it looks fantastic. As you can see, this is gonna be the scoop where it actually grabs air and forces it into the intake. Overall, this was, I think it should have been a lot easier than it actually was, but since there was no instructions, I basically had to figure it out myself. I was trying to put this uh, cover or cooling plate, if you will, over this piece right here and um come to find out it was not going to work that way and essentially the bumper and this little plate on the top actually had to sandwich the plate itself um for it to actually slide in properly now um once it's stalled obviously it looks really good um but it it really sure could have used instructions but overall i think you know anybody can actually do this should they want to um i think it's a great aesthetic thing um but it does have some you know functionality behind it as well especially if you actually have that one plate the the oem cooling plate that forces air up to the top into the intake it i think it will be a lot more functional that way but since i didn't have anything this is gonna have to just do now to me, it was a little bit more difficult as well, mainly because it's really hot today and I'm in my garage and I have no ventilation. So I'm like sweating my balls off right now, but it is what it is. So there you guys have it. As you can see, or probably see, I'm sweating like crazy right now. I have my S2000 right there and it's starting to look great if you ask me. Um, now that I have the AP2 spark plug cover and sometime next week, I'm going to be going to Texas so that I can um, you know get my AP2 wheels that I'm getting from somebody and I'm going to be making a video so once I get there so you'll know exactly where I'm getting my wheels from but um so I'm gonna give a big shout out to him but anyways um definitely uh, if you if you like it put that in the description down below let me know what you think whether or not you like it or not 
Um, of course, be be respectful, but um, definitely put that in the description down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.